Uh, what's good people, it's Man Like Jamal. I don't even know what kind of celebrity event man has got myself into, but we're here in central London, Leicester Square side, at this Virtu event, cause apparently they're releasing this web free phone. Man doesn't even know what web free is at this point in time, innit? So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit back, do some little, little research, tutu research, and we're gonna see what I've won for this thing, innit? But right now, as you can see fam, fam, Couple few people inside the place. They got two two little goodie bags on the chair as well. So um, yeah, I guess let's just go in, see Wagwan, and um, oh yeah, obviously, man is using the Joby Wavo Air today, little wireless microphone thing, just to see Wagwan. Um, so yeah, let me know what the microphone sound sounds like in it. All right. So man just done the presentation, had a little walk around, had two, two donuts and that. And um, I feel like there's a lot to take in fam. It's like man has to really dumb it down for myself so I can actually explain it to you guys, isn't it? So basically the phone, premium thing, costs more than my car, but we're not gonna, you know, we're gonna slide past that for a second. What the phone does is it's trying to make the NFT thing, cryptocurrency, more accessible to people in it so you don't have to do hella passwords and hella madness apparently with the phone put in your fingerprint and it basically does the rest for you what they're also saying is that they got some kind of service kind of thing where if you don't know what you're doing like me if you don't even know about crypto and them thing there you just call the service and they do the thing for you i think there's the nft the little art thing and stuff basically you hollow the service and the service, they airdrop you the NFTs from, so they even pick and choose which ones are worth the ting. So what they're saying with the price of the phone and that, even though that is mad pricey, by the time they run you the NFTs and you drop them onto your phone and thing, apparently you get your money back. So they're saying it's an investment thing. You understand it, fam? So even though it's free bags, they're saying that they're gonna drop you more than free bags worth of NFTs. And I think you can sell them NFTs and thing. And because the phone makes it easier for you to do that, um, it's it's more light work, isn't it? Getting into it, it's all cool, and you've got all the security of the phone and that. Yeah, it's wild, fam. But. It just, it just all sounds mad, especially if like me, you're a normal person that ain't into all that cryptocurrency NFT thing, innit? I'm not gonna lie, yeah? Them man had me all messed up, fam. Like, how are you telling me? They were telling me like what? The phone had Snapdragon, the phone had eight gig of RAM, it had all the storage and thing, and man was like, yeah, yeah, this is sick. Then they dropped the price and they told me that the cheapest one was 3,000 pound. It was like 3,000 pound for a mobile phone. You're on a wild thing, bro. <laughs> you're, you're on a wild thing. Imagine, yeah? They said £3,000 and nobody in the audience flinched. And then they was asking people if they had questions. Everyone was talking about things about the phone me, yeah? I had to, I had to tell them for real. I was like, that's pricey, bro. Everyone started laughing. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what it is. You're talking about making the NFT and cryptocurrency thing more accessible to everyone, but how is it going to be more accessible to everyone when the thing starts at three bags? Even if they're saying, look, it's an investment car, once you pay the three bags for the phone, they're going to airdrop more NFTs on you, which is cool and that, but it's kind of like you're relying on them to get you that value for the phone back, innit? It's mad. It's mad. I mean, that's how investment works, yeah, but hmm. I don't know bro, I don't know. I guess if you wanted to invest in cryptocurrency and in all that kind of stuff, that would be one of the best ways to do it because they look after your investment kind of thing. They help you to do all that madness, but yeah, it is what it is, man. Hopefully man can get a little review copy. We'll see what it's saying, innit? <laughs> 